So with the recent release of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth out, I thought it would actually make sense to revisit one of my modding tutorials for the Steam Deck. A new version of Seventh Heaven has released for it, version 3.40, and there's also a new streamlined process for installing it on the Steam Deck. I'm going to go through that in full with folks on this video. It should take more, no more than 10 minutes. If you pay attention, Follow this guide to a T, I will guarantee you it will work by the end of it. Stay tuned and let's get straight into this. Okay folks, so I'm going to keep this as simple as possible. Just to explain, I have my Steam Deck connected to my USB-C laptop dock and that's connected to my capture card in order to get the best picture quality for this video. But I've basically booted up my Steam Deck and the first thing you want to do is before we do anything else, we want to go to Steam. And you're going to make sure that you have a fresh install of Final Fantasy 7, okay? So folks, a very important point here as well. If you have not done so before, please ensure that you've played the game at least once the original game on Steam. Hit play and allow it to create the profile. So just please make sure you do that before you follow this guide. So once you have it fully installed and played at least once, you can go to the Steam menu, go to power, and then we're going to switch to desktop. And once we're in desktop mode, go ahead and open a browser window. And we're going to search seventh deck. Okay, so in this GitHub for seventh deck, go to the code, drop down the little arrow, and download zip. Let's go ahead and download that. When you're done, you can open the folder here. And I'm just going to simply cut this to the Steam desktop. What you want to do next is you're going to right click that. We're going to extract it. I'm going to extract it to here is fine. And that will create a new folder for you. Go ahead and open up the folder. So next what you want to do is you're going to go into that folder and you'll see install.sh. We're going to right click that and we're going to go run in console. If you want to expand that, you can check the status and that will pretty much install 7th deck. Let it do its thing. Please give it some patience here, okay? And eventually it will come up with a little dialog box and it says choose an installation path for 7th heaven. Now it says the folder must already exist. So in that dialog box, I right clicked, I went create new and new folder and then you can select that newly created folder on your desktop and just hit open and it's going to install it here. Hit yes to continue and the installation will proceed. Please ensure that you have internet access enabled on your Steam Deck just to be very clear here because it's actually downloading the 7th Heaven content uh, through the console command. So please ensure your Steam Deck's not in airplane mode or anything. So make sure that you're connected to your local network in your house or whatever. Once this prompt comes up, it says you can close this window and launch 7th Heaven from Steam or the desktop now. So you can close this and you'll see the 7th Heaven icon on the desktop. Uh, what you can do is you can actually add that back as a non-Steam game as well. But for now, let's just launch 7th Heaven. So double click that. It will automatically identify where your installation is within Steam Apps Common. Okay, and it will create a new folder called Mods within the 7 Heaven uh, directory structure. A couple of things here to make sure that you check. I would stick with the stable versions of 7th Heaven and FFNX, leave these as stable. And I would not allow auto updates of mods either. I prefer to put some control around that because you've no idea whether or not uh, they will be compatible in the future. So just please keep that in mind. Just hit save then basically there. So once the main version of 7th Heaven comes up, the next thing what you want to do is you want to go to settings and you want to go to game driver. Now, if you see this prompt, what it's saying is the current version of FFNX is outdated. So you can update FFNX by going to settings, go to general settings, and then hit and check for updates on FFNX. And in this case here, you can see the prompt says new FFNX driver version found. Would you like to update? I'm going to go yes. Hit OK, and it should say that it'll update correctly. Okay, you can save that again. And then if you go to settings and you go to game driver, you will see the game driver will actually launch. Now you can set some important settings here if you want to turn, turn on uh, anti-aliasing. I normally set this to 2 by msaa but you can increase it to 4 if you wish. You can change the aspect ratio if you wish. I prefer to leave it at 4.3. Important piece of information in the advanced tab. If you want achievements to unlock, you need to make sure that you check Steam compatibility is on, okay? or your, your, basically your achievements, they won't unlock. Okay, and that's required for running it in Steam directly. 
I'd also highly recommend clicking the controls tab and enabling analog controls. So that allows you to use your analogs of your Steam Deck within the game itself. Just one other thing I forgot in the graphics section, make sure you enabled advanced lighting here. So finally, once you've made all those settings changes, you can go back to the main front end of 7th Heaven and begin installing mods. Now there are a ton of mods, okay, and I'm not really gonna go into the detail of which exact mods I'm using in per se. I've enabled and disabled some as I see fit. Some work for me and the way I want the game to be. Maybe some of the recommended ones that are probably universal to everyone is definitely the 60 FPS gameplay one. Highly recommend you install that. So you basically uh, double click it. If you go to browse catalog, you double click it. It'll go ahead and download that mod for you and automatically install it. I also like the HD battle scenes and the Nino style battle mods and maybe just one more for the purpose of this one. The uh, chibi feel models are really good. I'm going to download these four. Again, just to point out, please be patient when they're downloading and installing. They take quite some time, so just take some patience with that. Some of these mods are considerable in size. So once they're installed, you can view all the mods that you've actually installed, okay? So you'll see one, two, three, four, and then you will also see another one called Steam Deck Auto. Don't, don't touch this at all. That'll be installed as part of the seventh deck master. Just a general note on mods, folks. As I said, I have four different types of mods here installed. You just have to bear in mind that not every mod is cross compatible with each other. So it's going to be a bit of a trial and error between yourself to figure out which mods you want to use and figuring out which ones are compatible with each other. Now, as I mentioned, I know at least that these four mods that I've installed are compatible with each other. And what I'll do is I just go through the configuration of the four that I have installed. So on the 60, 30 FPS gameplay one, if you just go to configure mods, I'm just gonna leave it at full 60 FPS. It should be at this by default. If you decide to install uh, Nino style HD animations uh, for your field animations, that depends on that particular mod. You can enable them here. I'm leaving this to original animations. Uh, the Nino style battle mods, you can configure those, but basically it all, all it does really is you can select which version of model you want. I'm just leaving them as defaults as well. The retextures doesn't really have any configuration. Uh, it just has one drop, drop down to say either the texture is applied or not. You're not really configurable in all essences, either on or off in this one. And the Nino style chibis, if you configure those, again, it's really pretty much changing some of the styles if you wish. I'm leaving all of those as default as well. So maybe the last thing what we can do is uh, for folks who want to add this to gaming mode and would like this to naturally launch without actually having 7th Evan show up. So bear in mind, you can set up profiles, okay? You can set up profiles in 7th Heaven. Now I'm gonna just leave the default profile as it was and that will keep the sentence that I have saved here. And if you want to add 7th Heaven and have it naturally or automatically launch without having the mod manager actually launch itself, how we can do that is we can open up Steam. So don't open up gaming mode, we just wanna open up a regular session of Steam. And once the regular session of Steam launches, if you wanna to go to games, add non-Steam game to library, we're gonna browse go to your desktop and find your 7th Heaven shortcut. So 7th Heaven desktop, hit open, check it. Okay, so make sure you check it here and add selected program. And within the shortcut then, right click it, go to properties, and you want to update the launch options to the following. You want to type the following command and I will share this in the description and the pin post in this video, but it's forward slash profile, double colon, default space forward slash launch space forward slash quit and then forward slash one more time okay and type this is exactly as it is and close this when you hit play what happens is the seventh heaven runs in the background so the manager will launch but then what will also happen is it will automatically launch the final fantasy 7 game as well so it just kind of gives a natural flow if you just want to get in into the game quickly and you don't want to be messing around in the mod manager again. Uh, so maybe try and skip this quickly and we'll do a quick test for everybody. So I'm going to continue. I've beaten this last year, so my save is pretty much up towards the end of the game. Let's go to the high wind and maybe try and get into a quick battle. Um, and as you can see, 
Cloud's model is uh, the modded version. Let's um, maybe take control of the high wind and get into a quick battle. Just to show that the models have also been, let's say, modded. Um, so I've just flown over here. Let's try and get into a battle really quick. Just run around. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're in a, in a battle. This probably will end really, really quickly. But, uh, oh yeah, this silver wheel, this guy's gonna die. Yeah, straight away. But anyway, as you can see, the models have been updated with mods. That's it, guys, from me on this tutorial. I really hope this video has helped people out. If you've enjoyed this, please consider liking and subscribing if you're new to the channel. And I will see you on the next video. Everybody enjoy Final Fantasy and all the fanfare around it at the moment with the Rebirth release. Um, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.